Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lan here and today I want to talk about how to take care of roses. Years ago when I see a uh, full garden of roses, especially the English type of rose that have perfectly bloomed and cup, and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, it must take a lot of work to maintain this garden. Given how elegant it looks, I'm sure that a lot of people think that it's a very high maintenance plants to take care of. In reality, it's not really that hard to take care of roses if you follow a certain formula. Disclaimer, I'm nowhere a rose expert. I'm very new to this game. I've only started um, about, I think, five years ago. So please take my advice in grains of salt. Now let's dive right into it. The first tip I want to share with you is deadheading. In order to promote a lot of flowers, you need to remove wilted blooms. Remove the old blooms, stop the plants from putting all the energy into developing seeds and encourage more flowers. This is how I usually do it. I find the five leaflet branch and then make an angle cut just above that leaflet. In plain English, find a branch that have five leaves and then make a cut. This is three. This is five. And then cut right above that. I usually cut about an inch above the node. You can also snap the flowers off at the base of the bloom. No need to trim it like I do. Especially when you're having a newly planted rose, you do not want to trim too much. Removing the spent blooms also is an easy way to clean and tidy up your garden. This is the second flush of blooms after the one in early spring. Number 2. Pruning It's very important to trim the rose to promote new shoots. Roses don't like dampness. You need to trim the branches to let air circulate the plant. This is to avoid black spots. It has been raining for several days, so the leaves on my rose starting to get infected with disease. I'm removing all the diseased leaves. Uh, make sure to clean up the base of the plant and do not compose these leaves. This is important to remember, do not trim rose in late fall, like October or November. I made this mistake many years ago when I first started um, planting rose. I killed two of my roses because I trimmed them late in the fall. The reason is that once you trim, it's signal to the plants to send out new shoots and these will die back when the below freezing temperature hits. The best time to trim is in the spring when the rose is just waking up with the new leaves. Or you can trim in the winter when the temperature is already below freezing. I'm going to do another video on rose trimming. Next one I want to talk about watering. Rose can get sick if water incorrectly. Rose is known for having black spot on leaves. This is caused by fungus. This disease does not kill the plant outright, but over time the loss of leaves can weaken the plant and make it more susceptible to other stress. Avoid getting the leaves wet when watering the plant, especially if you water it in the evening. Another thing to remember is not to water your rose too often. Often means every day. This weakens the roots of the plant because it doesn't need to dig deeper to find water. I water each of my rose plants about 2 gallons of water every 3 to 4 days. In order to know how much is 2 gallons, fill up a 2 gallon of water in a bucket and count until it's filled up. As you water the plants with a water hose, just count to that number. When it comes to fertilizing, I prefer to keep it simple. I use this slow release fertilizer. I'm in zone 7, 
So the last frost was、um, at the beginning of April. I start fertilizing around this time when I see new leaves come out. I then fertilize again after the first flush of blooms. So about eight to ten weeks later. That way, the roses keep giving out flowers throughout the summer and into the fall. The last time I would fertilize is in September. The reason is that、um, you need to prepare the plant to go into dormancy. Fertilizing promote new growth, and these young shoots are weak to withstand the freezing temperature. It will kill these branches. And plants need to go to sleep in the winter time. This plant right here is more than four years old, so it's okay to use this type of、uh, fertilizer. When you first put a new rose plant down, do not use any harsh fertilizer.、Um, actually, in the first year, I did not fertilize anything. If you do, I recommend fish fertilizer or kelp meal. Strong fertilizer like this burns the roots and can kill the plants. I would wait until the next spring to start fertilizing a new plant. Work it lightly into the soil, and then as you water, the nutrient will be absorbed. My garden encountered two types of pests: aphids and sawfly larva. Like this guy right here and his friends. Can eat a whole branch over a day or two. They are very destructive, and of course, aphid is another nightmare on Elm Street. I have a habit of visiting and inspecting my roses every day, if not every two days.、Um, as soon as I spot these guys right here, I would pour out my neem oil immediately and spray them. I try to avoid insecticide and pesticide as much as I can. So neem oil is、uh, the way to go. It's very effective toward these guys, and it also helps with black spot. Mix neem oil with water per direction, and then add some dish soap as emulsifier. This bottle of neem oil has lasted me over two years. By the way, this sprayer is one of my best. Gardening pushes, no need to manually pump it. It's a life saver. I'm going to link all the products I use in this video in the description box. When you use neem oil, please spray early in the morning. I usually do it before eight in the morning. If not, spray in the evening after the sun stop beaming. You want the leaves to dry up before the sun hitting them, or else the plants will wilt. When you spray, make sure you spray from the top, and then also spray from the bottom up, because these guys like to cling to the bottom of the leaves. Like I said, I inspect my rows quite often, so I can spot the pests as soon as they appear. I spray weekly until I see no sign of them. All right, I hope these tips are helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel for future content. I will see you in the next video. Bye.